Hello again, and welcome back to What the Fuck Lorosis. I'm still Kevin, you're still you, and this is episode 5 of What the Fuck Lorosis, the podcast called A Sneeze in Church. If you'd like to see what my face looks like when I am sharing these stories, you can visit at WTF Lerosis on Instagram or YouTube and see the original stories. That's at WTF L-E-R-O-S-I-S. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoy the show, the awesome thing you could do would be to rate it and subscribe or follow it and share it with five people you think are cool. If you don't enjoy the show, send it to five people who make you feel like this show made you feel boring. Yeah, send it to five people who bore you. Um, too chatty? Send it to five people who talk too much. You see where I'm going with this. Thanks so much for listening. Um, this was meant to be a short episode, not a ton I want to say, but an update, a a visual I would love to give you going into this. Um, when you get to the part where I describe what a sneeze is like for me, Remember that this is something that happened to me just this past week. I was eating some M&Ms. I was alone and it was like the first dip into a dish of them. And I threw like five of them into my mouth. The first chew released a little bit of powder from the shells. And that powder from the shells was enough to create an instantaneous sneeze reflex. And I sneeze like you're going to hear I describe after barely chewing five M&Ms. I was wearing a white shirt. Um, the other thing I wanted to, to say about the sneezing, which continues to, to be a thing, like you, th- this is going to be true for you as well. You don't know 30 or 45 seconds before, oftentimes, you're going to sneeze. Sometimes there's a tickle and you, you have a good warning, but oftentimes, you know maybe three to five seconds before it happens, you're going to be sneezing. And there is, for me, like an urgency to rearrange my body to make sure I'm not twisted in any way. If I can possibly stabilize myself on a counter or a chair or if I am able to sit down, that's ideal. Um, It's just such an an urgency that um, I certainly never felt before. Um, So enjoy thinking about that. I certainly do. Thanks again for listening. This is called A Sneeze in Church. I have that you might not think about if you saw me walking on the street you'd assume it was mostly gross motor issues and if you talk to me you would think like okay there's some fine motor stuff maybe going on with the speech there but there's also some swallowing stuff going on I had a swallow study done which I highly recommend. If you can do one, oh my God, is it interesting. I will try to share footage here. It's seriously fucking fascinating. I have some coordination issues with swallowing and end up choking on water, swallowing water, especially swallowing pills, which you can imagine kind of sucks. I take quite a few of them every day. So, swallowing speech, also coughing, like uh, I will get a tickle 
in my throat pretty easily sometimes. It's sort of like a whole day might happen where the sensitivity threshold is higher and something can tickle coughing and I will have these coughing fits. And in both coughing and sneezing, what happens is really I lose a lot of control of gross motor and it can be hard to stand if I'm having a coughing fit or if I'm sneezing. I have literally coughed myself into a fall a week and a half ago had a coughing fit and actually fell onto the floor. So ridiculous. Sneezing, I know to brace myself. Sneezing is so absurd. It's so much more than it needs to be. Um, if you think of, just take a second and think of, like, what is the loudest sneeze you have ever witnessed? in your life, like in public. That is me every time I sneeze. The vocal that goes along with it is so over the top. It's so loud. It's so uncontrolled. And um, part of, <laughs> it's so stupid. Part of the, the thing that happens is there's a lot of saliva production and I cannot always retain it. So a sneeze, in addition to being unnecessarily loud, is often accompanied by a spray of saliva. It's so absurd. In my life before this, I would say, oh, I can control, I have allergies. I sneeze a good bit and I would say I can control the uh, the full expression of a sneeze if I'm in a theater, if I'm in say church or a place where a public place where I'd like to you know keep it down a little bit I would say I would have been able to control it somewhat most of the time and even be able to do a silent sneeze, even though it's super uncomfortable, not really good for you, I could do that. Now, no, can't do it, not even a chance. And I, I say to my kids, it's so loud when I sneeze, and I can tell they're sort of surprised. It's like dad just all of a sudden yelled in the room for no reason in a really... Um, like martial arts kind of way. It's so over the top. And I tell, I give them language to say back to me, like, that was a bit much, Dad. So that they have, they have a way to talk about it and think about it. And I just talk about how absurd it is. And I kind of get tickled thinking about uh, church. I don't really go to church now at all, but I grew up in this, going to this beautiful old church. My grandparents were very involved in music there, and I would go often, and the floors are all stone, the walls are stone and wood, beautiful, um, huge cathedral ceiling and sound really carries in there and I like to I like to imagine a sneeze from Kevin today back in that church when I was like a nine-year-old and I wouldn't be quiet around um, you know fooling around with my brother in church and my mom wanted us to be quiet like that level of sneeze in that church would be so incredibly loud and I love imagining the looks I would get from the people around me 
and how much my brother would be giggling and my mo my mother would be horrified and surely the guy in front of me would feel the the spray of saliva from behind him and the poor minister pastor guy was just like you just gotta wait a minute for that to happen before he can go on like everybody would have to recover from the sneeze in the church. Wow, thank you so much for listening. I can't believe you made it this far. High five. Hey, I don't want to forget that's Gregor Quendel rocking the cellos there. Um, thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the show, then please rate the show, follow the show, share the show with five people you think are cool or as previously suggested, by people who annoy you as much as this show did. Although, if you made it to here, I mean, come on, you were kind of into it. Or you just couldn't hit pause. I've been there too. Um, hey, would love to know your feedback on the show. If you want to be in touch, you can comment on one of the channels at WTFLEROSIS on Instagram or YouTube, or send an email to WTFLarosis at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, and next episode coming soon.